These schools are battling for the ODK James E. Foyd Sportsmanship Trophy. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He fights forward to about the 26. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. They'll bring him down at the 37. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. That's a good three on the play. That makes it second and Second down and six. Ball on their own 40. Gets it out quickly, and he's taken down at the 43. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. He's taken down around the 33-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. He fights forward to about the 30. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. Tackle at the 29. A yard, if any, there for the halfback. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And they hit him in the backfield. Once he saw it was a run, he made a great break on the ball and used his speed to make the big tackle. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he tackles them hard at the 14. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. This is the 10th play of this drive. Touchdown, Alabama! He hits the PAT. A 10 play, 75 yard drive, and the result, seven points. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, seven nothing. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. it on the inside. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. 
It can really open up things for the offense. From their own 37-yard line. First down. Caught open field. He gets hit out of bounds around the 48-yard line. Gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. the 41 from the 41 yard line it's first down takes it up the middle for a nice run that's good for a game five yards that brings up second and five They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He makes the PAT, a five-play, 75-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Got the corner. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. So at the end of one. We get a tie game at 7-7. We're all tied up as we head into quarter number two. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Good run by the halfback. That'll be good enough to move the chains. He knew where he first had down. to go to get the first down, and he got there. Nice run. Tight end left, tight end left. Four down, four down. I got two, I got two. Ready? And down he goes. Right around the 40. Call it a game of 16 yards. First down. From the 40-yard line. First down. Check down, check down, and one, and one. He makes it to the 38-yard line. That's good for a game of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Make the stop at the 22. Scott with the tackle at the 22 yard line. Alabama is going to use their first time out of the half here. First and 10. Ball on the 22. Rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. Nice run, and he's brought down. Gain of four yards. That'll bring up third and six. From the 18 yard line. Third down. Slings it. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. He tried to force it to a man that wasn't open, and boy, was he lucky it wasn't picked off. He's got to be more careful when throwing the football into the end zone. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. He's tackled at the 42. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. 
In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. From the 32-yard line, first down, Alabama will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. made at the 33. You know, it looked to me like he should have made the pitch, but he kept it instead and wound up going backwards. Check 13. Check 13. Squeeze, squeeze, double, double. Ready. Ready. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 22. That quickly incomplete. Hooks the intended receiver on the play. That brings up fourth and 11. Auburn is looking to tie things up. He gets it up and it's long enough. And he just drilled it from long range. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. And a 10 10 tie in this game. He kicks it off and he got all of that one. Both defenses really played well so far. Right? Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Alabama's out of timeouts. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he makes it out to about the 14-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. First down. Double tight, double tight. Double tight. Pull it down, pull it down. Hey, check it out. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Game of six on the play. That'll bring up second and three. It's second down and about three yards. Ball on the 20. And he hits him hard at the 25. First down. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike, check Mike, Mike six, Mike six. Ready? Up the middle for a nice game. Call it a gain of four yards. That brings up second and five. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 29 yard line. Nice run up the middle. The defense can't be surprised that they're running the football, but for whatever reason, they're not stepping up when they need to to be able to come up with a stop. Man left, man left. Pull down, pull down. Throws on the run, and this will be intercepted. He's at the 40. And he's tackled around the 24-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. Did you see how he looked that ball into his hands? That's how you catch a football. It's up, and he got it. The return team looks ready to go. They need to take this one all the way in order to lead at the half. Excellent kick. He'll return it from the one. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. We played a half of football. The Tigers lead it 13-10. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Kick slide, kick slide, get your hands on them, keep them at an angle, keep them off balance. 
How about the big fellas up front just absolutely stifling the pass rush? We, we talk all the time about how defensive ch defense wins championships and the guys in the trenches. How about the hog mollies up front? I mean, my goodness, that quarterback, he could bake a pie, feed it to him in the pocket. He had so much time to sit back there, nice, warm, and cozy. Might as well get him a bottle of milk and some and a blankie back there in the pocket because he was just sitting back there nice and protected. Anybody can deal in that situation. I've seen Reese Davis deal in that situation. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. Great first half. Hopefully the second half's as good. Number 21, deep to return. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Auburn is up a field goal. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a gain of four on that play. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. They come out in a five-wide set. Zips it to the tight end. They'll bring him down at the 46. Quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Number 14, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second. Second ten. down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46 yard line. He lets it fly. It's picked off, and it's the sophomore. That only makes the interception. Catches it, and that's all. That'll be a gain of five. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. That brings up second. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 25. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Quick throw. Tackle around the 33 yard line. That's good for a game of 10 yards. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 33. He's taken down at the 44. That's a gain of 11 on the play. That makes it first and 10. throw to the tight end and he's taken down at the 43 looks like the defense played the run that time with this offense you've got to be ready for a pass on any down in any situation we've got a first and ten ball on the 43 yard line five wide fires it out and he is drilled at the 34 nice pickup as they connect on the pass play but well, they look to be in sync right now they're both reading the defense properly and the result is a nice game this is the eighth play of this drive Gold after a decent pickup. Good for a gain of six yards. First down. From the 28 yard line, it's first down. He gets out to about the 28 yard line. Tight end brought down around the 20-yard line. Gain of eight on the play. 
That'll bring up and this is the eleventh play of the current drive. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike, check Mike, Mike six, Mike six. Oh, run, run, run. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a gain of six on the play. That makes it first and ten. Two it's tight, first and ten. Tight. Ball on the 14. Mike six. Mike six. Ready. Blue 45. Blue. Pass, 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 pass. Quick throw. Almost intercepted. Scott breaks it up. That makes it second and 10. 13th play of the drive coming up. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. They've looked good so far on third down in this drive. Let's see what happens here. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That's a gain of 14 yards on the play. That makes it first and goal. This is the 15th play of this drive. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Alabama is ready to kick it away. He really got a hold of that kick. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He gets to about the 34-yard line. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. And, folks, it's neck and neck as we head to the final quarter of play. 17-13, Alabama. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Watch, watch number 86. Watch 86. You run the run. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Gain of one on the play. That'll bring up third. So it's inches. third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. He makes his way to about the 45. He's gobbled up in the backfield. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 45-yard line, it's second down. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. Hunter was the intended receiver on the play. Third down. Pass, pass, pass. Let's go, Pete. Let's go. Watch, 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 Just watch, under watch. three to go in regulation. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Most of the time, zone coverage will take away the out route. Not that time. From the 41-yard line, first down. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. Alabama's going to take their first time out of the half. That'll bring up second and 15. Mike 17, Mike 17. And this play is number eight on the drive. He gets hit out of bounds at the 45-yard line. down now and they need to get it down to the 31. Quick pass tight end and he wasn't ready for it. This is incomplete. Number 13, the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. He's 
taken down at the eight-yard line. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. And down he goes at about the 21. Auburn's going to use their first time out of the half here. From their own 21-yard line, first down. He's tackled at the 27. Fires out to his wideout. The Tigers use their second timeout. Just over two minutes in the game. Tackle made at the 28-yard line. The Tigers using their third and final timeout. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Gets it out quickly. And they make the stop at around the 48-yard line. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Alabama will take their second time out of the half. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He fights forward to about the 39. And he's tackled around the 21 yard line. Gain of 18 yards. First down. And this is the eighth play two of the tight, drive. Four down, four down. Hey, check back, check back. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. From the 23-yard line, second down. Makes his way out to about the 15. Call it a gain of eight yards. Third down. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Alabama holds a four-point lead. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a gain of seven on the play. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. He carries the ball for a nice game. We're at the 12th play of the drive. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. And this one's final. We had a tight defensive-minded game today. Scoring was at a premium. 17-13. Alabama. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action of this one? Alabama came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.